the United States also has another unique prototype, the largest armored personnel carrier that no one will ever be able to sink. Marines around the world now use hovercraft. They are characterized by high speed and sufficient load capacity, even though their engines break down rather fast when operating at extremely high speeds. Therefore, the research unit of the U.S. Marine Corps has come up with their own version of such a vehicle. They created a huge and very heavy armored personnel carrier called UHAC, which has recently undergone its first test drive. At 13 meters long, 8 meters wide, and 5 meters high, this is the record holder among transport vehicles. Despite it still being only a smaller version of the future transport, which will be exactly twice as large, just imagine a 230 square meter vehicle. Two questions immediately come to mind. Why do we need it? And how will this giant stay afloat? Firstly, this monster can carry up to 200 tons of cargo. It can even transport tanks. It is almost like a mini aircraft carrier for ground equipment. Not a single army in the world has ever had anything similar. This technological miracle stays afloat due to its hollow pontoon tracks, which evenly distribute the pressure exerted on the ground and allow it to move around the sea. The UHAV navigates wetlands, mud baths, and seabeds with ease, but unfortunately the track system significantly reduces its speed on the water. It only moves up to 20 kilometers per hour, which is not nearly enough for such a colossus. With regards to armor, UHAC easily repels machine gun bursts and shots from cannons up to 30 millimeter caliber. However, nothing was mentioned about the defense against large caliber, though it can be assumed that the same kamikaze drones will be built into the armored personnel carrier like the ACV has, or perhaps it might even get a laser like Storm. But what is known for sure is the Ukrainian development of a real amphibious laser tank. We are talking about a new creation called Storm. This vehicle is meant to be a universal armored vehicle that can spark both military and civilian interest. The actor Steven Seagal, who was invited to the premiere of the prototype, praised this creation and wished to purchase the Storm for personal use. It is no wonder, since everyone already owns a Rolls Royce, and owning a personal amphibious armored personnel carrier is something new. A six-seater, eight-ton, almost six meters long amphibian is able to rush through the water at a speed of 30 kilometers an hour, withstanding waves one and a half meters tall. This is a real record among other analogs, and the developers did not stop there. They equipped the Storm with a hybrid engine consisting of a diesel unit paired with a generator, batteries, and three electric motors with a total output of 2,500 horsepower. One engine makes the water jet to move afloat, and the other two are responsible for rewinding the tracks. This vehicle can accelerate up to 140 kilometers an hour on land, transport cargo, protect personnel from missiles, and even destroy the enemy with a laser beam. The thing is that its developers are working closely with Lockheed Martin, which has recently spent more than a billion dollars on the development of laser weapons. Thus, the storm will receive its own version of the American laws, a laser that can undermine an enemy missile or burn all the equipment in an aircraft in two seconds. This thing will come in handy even against targets on the ground. Since modern tanks have advanced electronics, which can be easily burned, turning a combat vehicle into a pile of scrap metal. Therefore, the Storm could easily be considered a full-fledged amphibious tank, and it would be an incredible breakthrough in technology. However, as of now, the Storm is only a prototype. This problem was solved with the advent of the amphibious vehicle. Now, to carry out a combat operation on the coastal zone, you no longer need to swim directly to the shore. Instead, you can just send troops inside a steel amphibian, and it will take the fighters wherever they need to, at high speed. In addition, the ACB offers three times more protection than conventional armored personnel carriers due to its unique layout. 
where personnel are located much lower than usual and covered by large armor plates. It is not susceptible to either machine gun hits or enemy landmines, and other ACV missiles can be repelled by its Inceptor drones located inside. These babies are similar to the well-known Switchblade drones and are launched from a special shaft on the side of the vehicle. Their main goal is to destroy enemy missiles, so they are equipped with an advanced sensor built into their body, which recognizes targets as well as explosives up to one kilogram. The amphibious combat vehicle can also deal with targets on the ground, using the same drones as well as two retractable machine guns. Its engine is also impressive, as its power surpasses even the engines of most tanks. Its top speed reaches over 105 kilometers an hour on paved roads and has a range of 525 kilometers. However, due to its design features, the ACV can only move at 125 kilometers on water. In any case, the ACV is a very cool acquisition for the U.S. Army. This is exactly what the Pentagon engineers were thinking when they created another version of the well-known Striker. M1128 is an infantry fighting vehicle designed for fire support and destruction of bunkers as well as lightly armored vehicles and fortified enemy positions. Give it the ability to sink ships and you'll get a perfect vehicle. One of the main features of the Stryker ground vehicle is its speed. It moves at almost 100 kilometers per hour on the highway while being much quieter than the previous armored personnel carrier. But what's even more interesting is that it carries a huge 105 millimeter tank gun. This fiery baby easily destroys even modern tanks. Impressively, it also has an autoloader for 12 shots, as well as an automatic aiming system. The body of a conventional striker is made of steel armor plates and fortified with ceramic plates. The amphibious vehicle has sacrificed its additional protection to reduce its weight. In order for this light tank to float on water in the first place, it was also necessary to expand its internal compartment and remove anything unnecessary. The tank ended up losing half of its ammunition, but it gained the ability to swim across rivers and even sail the sea for a short amount of time, about 120 minutes. Even this reserve is enough to protect the coastline from attack by enemy ships. The amphibious striker is not the only new model of this vehicle. There is some information going around about a new super powerful striker armed with a microwave weapon, but for now, these are only rumors which will also be aided by none other than a floating aircraft. The Grumman HU-16 Albatross is a large twin-engine amphibious seaplane used by the U.S. Air Force and Coast Guard primarily as a search and rescue aircraft. The advanced design of the Albatross was developed to land in the open ocean to perform rescue missions, which is exactly how the Albatross once saved an entire squadron of American airmen who were shot down over Vietnam. Of course, the old version of the Albatross is no longer suitable in modern times, but it is possible that a fresh replacement is being made for such great development, which is able to not only transport troops and save drowning people, but also destroy the enemy. However, no one can handle the destruction of the enemy better than a nuclear bomber capable of, quite literally, flying underwater. We are talking about NGAD, a hybrid aircraft of the sixth generation. The developers from Northrop Grumman attempted to focus both on the protective characteristics and the convenience of the aircraft. It turned out to be as hidden, fast, and ergonomic as possible. The plane doesn't have anything extra either inside or out. It is likely to become a technological benchmark for competitors. As an example of great technology, the aircraft was equipped with a unique kind of stealth skin, which not only reflects radio location waves, but also blocks the operation of lasers. Moreover, it even reflects ship radars. No less fantastic is its ability to fully swim underwater. The reason for this is because the NGAD uses a hybrid power plant that can switch from air to underwater. This beauty is equipped with such weapons as the already mentioned drones, long-range anti-tank shells weighing 250 kilograms each, and maneuvering air-to-air -air warheads flying at a speed of more than 4,000 kilometers per hour. 
The NGAD is able to lurk along the coast, suddenly fly out to the enemy, and unleash a deadly blow. With such an amphibian, the US Army will reach a whole new level of tactical maneuvers. Please like and comment. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.